Okay, before we leave the Mad Dog Shoot House, uh, we're going to talk to Captain Nelson. So I want to welcome you all back uh, to Iraq here. And uh, Owen, Gary, or Gary Owen, rather. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, on TalkingWithHeroes.com with the uh, uh, Bravo Company, 1-8 Infantry Division. So welcome back, uh, Captain Nelson. You are the commander, so it's appropriate that we kind of end this segment with you. So why don't you share what you'd like to share? Well, uh, thank you. I'd, I'd like to start by saying um, uh, my name is Captain Thomas Nelson. I'm the company commander for uh, Bravo Company 18 Infantry. And uh, our, our mission here in Iraq is we're paired with and partnered with the Iraqi police. And what we do is advise, train, and assist the Iraqi police. And that, that's our main goal. And uh, we're working on what we call uh, police professionalism and uh, police primacy here in Maison Province. And uh, what, what that gen generally means is that we want uh, a professionalized police force, similar to uh, the way we've, we've worked hard to professionalize the Iraqi army. And then also police primacy means that uh, the police are in charge of the security of the country, and then the Iraqi army is focused on the, the external threats, the same way that in, in America, uh, our police force is what keeps us safe on a daily basis in the cities that we live in, and that our Iraqi army is focused on an external threat and helps out when necessary. So that's, that's one of the things that we try to get after here in our partnership with the police. And uh, as you saw today, we did some uh, pretty pretty high speed training for the Iraqi police, uh, what we call Battle Drill 6, entering and clearing rooms, as well as uh, raid training. They've done uh, planning and execution of those raids, as well as uh, other things to uh, help them, not only with their marksmanship skills, but also with uh, their ability to uh, conduct uh, missions against a possible hostile enemy here in, uh, here in Amara and uh, Mason Province. What would you say, I mean, you've been here now, what, how many months? We've been here uh, five months now in, in this rotation. Talk about the difference in their ability to operate as a team, Iraqi police, from where it was from the guy Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, this is my third deployment, uh, second in, uh, in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. And uh, the level of uh, professionalism and capability of both the Iraqi police and the Iraqi army has come leaps and bounds since uh, even the last time I was here two years ago during uh, the surge in 2007. And uh, just, just to see uh, the, the progress that uh, the Iraqi security forces are, are truly in the lead of the security mission and securing the people here in uh, Maison province and throughout Iraq, is, it's just been phenomenal. And uh, what we've tried to do is just take that, build on uh, the successes of uh, the units before us, and uh, take them to the next level so that we can uh, help uh, enforce the rule of law here in Maison Province, as well as uh, the Iraqi uh, the Iraqi police. Can we just take a little break here? Yeah. Just swing the camera around here. Stay right there. You can swing it around and get this over here. Get it in, okay? Right here we have a uh, 7ERU. Come on, Goofy. Do one more. Got it. Goofy one. Come on in. Oh, hey, tell him. Goofy. Do crazy stuff. Yeah, what? So 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 what? as well as uh, continue to develop our partnerships here with the Iraqi police. And uh, what we'll do tomorrow is actually have a formal graduation ceremony for these policemen, and give them certificates to show that uh, you know their completion of this course, as well as um, their increased level of training. And then our next stop goal is to uh, do an advanced training at the Iraqi police academy that's taught by the Iraqi police instructors. That way they can take ownership of this training plan and uh, have it be an enduring capability after uh, U.S. forces eventually does leave Iraq. Uh, is there anything you want to tell the American people? Obviously, we've talked about this a number of times. But, you know, the public is starting to hear about the transition, you know, strike brigade, go home, but we have 50,000 soldiers still here. 
Talk about continuing to support the troops back home, even as they rotate in and out. Like the well, and, and that, that's a great point. One thing to remember is that uh, there's still uh, a large number of troops here in Iraq uh, supporting the advise, train, and assist mission. And just because the combat mission is over does not mean that uh, American soldiers and uh, civilians and everyone else who's part of this, uh, this effort are, not out, are out of harm's way. There still is a, a real threat, but um, you know, as we work with our partners in the Iraqi police and the Iraqi army and the Division of uh, Border Enforcement, uh, they, they get better every day and uh, the security position gets here better. But the, the main thing that we want to focus on and make sure that we're doing is, you know, we've been in this conflict for a long time and uh, what we want to make sure that we do as, as it comes to a close is that we finish this fight with dignity and respect and honor all those uh, that have came before us and uh, all the sacrifices of every family as well as those who uh, sacrificed everything in support of uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. And that's something to keep in mind too. Is there's still a, a pretty big fight going on in Afghanistan as well. And you know, any any support you can give to any troops is uh, okay, always well, welcome, accepted with open arms, and appreciated. I've gotten emails from Gold Star families. Uh, Sergeant Rayo is one, uh, and you know they really appreciate seeing their troops back home. And uh, they have been in a lot of cases. They're seeing things they never would have seen behind the scenes. Where you been? And you know, particularly uh, for me. Three of the, the great soldiers that we lost in my last rotation, uh, Staff Sergeant Sandy Britt, uh, Corporal Miguel Baez, and uh, Sergeant John Osmolsky. You know, th those are the guys that I think about when I'm here for a third and fourth rotation of why I'm back here to try to finish the fight and uh, make sure that you know we're, we're doing everything we can to uh, make sure that the Iraqi people are free, they have a, a democracy in, in, the, in the liking that they want, and that they're able to uh, secure themselves, and then we can uh, we can continue on with our mission here and eventually turn everything over to the Iraqi security forces. Absolutely. Want to give another shout out to family and friends? Back yeah. Home? The last thing I'd just like to say is a uh, hello to my family, the Nelsons, Johnson, or Nelsons, Johnsons, Alubas, Faltas, everybody out there, and uh, particularly to my wife Lauren, and uh, who's about eight and a half months pregnant right now. Looking very forward to seeing you in about two weeks for the birth of our son, and. Uh, just want to say hi to everybody. Congratulations to you and your wife. Baby you go. Yep, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, folks, you're hearing about the mission. Uh, for the soldiers here, this is not a new mission. But back home, we're hearing about it, in many cases, the first time. And so it's important that you help with this mission, because you can be a crucial part of this mission in helping get these stories out. They're on YouTube. Anybody on YouTube, just go to our YouTube page, do the Add a Friend, when you watch these videos, click Favorites, it puts it on your YouTube page, and, and you can move it right from there to your Facebook page. You know, these social networking sites, we can reach millions of Americans, and I, my experience is when people hear about this, they are excited, they're glad to watch it and tell other people, especially our veterans communities across the country and our military families. Uh, there's millions. We can get this out across America. We need your help to do that. So I want to thank you all. Again, we're here in Iraq, and we'll be back with more from Gary Owen in Iraq. Thank you very much. This is TalkingWithHeroes.com. God bless you all. God bless America.